Shalom, shalom, everybody. Back again. <laughs> it's your brew. Ask me, Bon Shemayim. Back again with another one. I kind of messed up on the intro. Forgive me. Today's video is going to be, uh, we on our little TikTok hitch. And uh, today's video is going to be about the Big Bang Theory. Let's talk about it, right? So, uh, let's go to this. Listen up. I don't even know that it's like Christianity's God. There's only one God, but mm -hmm. there's a very... That's true. There's only one God. That's the first statement she said that was very true. Let's get it. Listen up. Well, how do you know that it's like Christianity's God? There's only one God. But mm -hmm. there's a very famous astronomer named Robert Jastro. His credentials as a scientist are impeccable. Being agnostic, he's not even a Christian. He said that all of the essential elements of the Big Bang Theory line up with biblical, biblical. creation. Because mm -hmm. this is how God works. God speaks something, and then science runs to catch up with what uh -huh. he said. Science doesn't create anything. Science studies creation. Let me just answer a question that I always get. Who created God? What I say? I said everything with a beginning. Everything that came to be needs a cause. God didn't come to be. Nope. God is eternal. The way a lot of people thought the universe was until science disproved it. Yep. So God doesn't need a cause or a creator. He is the cause. The universe is the effect. Don't just take my word for it. Go look into Go it look for yourself. It one more thing. Evidence is not a substitute for faith. Following God is not a matter of evidence or proof. It's a matter of the will. You have to want to do it so you can have the peace that you're looking for. And if you don't want to make that choice, no amount of evidence is going to convince you to. You have to want to. Listen. So on that note, y'all, on that note, we're going to end up coming back and watching that again. But on that note, I wanted to get into, um, okay, the Big Bang Theory, right? This is what it says. Oops. I don't know how that happened. It says suddenly, it says suddenly an explosive, an explosive expansion began, ballooning our universe outwards faster than the speed of light. This was a period of cosmic inflation. So pretty much cosmic inflation means they don't know what happened. A lot of stuff was working out in the universe. They don't really know, right? This is all guesstimations that lasted mere fractions of a second. See, but that's the thing. They say it lasted mere fractions of a second. About, I don't even know how to pronounce that. About a tenth of a negative, a tenth, one tenth of a negative 32 of a second. Like, what? I don't even understand how fast that is, to be honest. Somebody who know more about this particular thing in science, let me know, y'all. Let me know exactly how many seconds that would have been, right? But I believe it's saying a tenth of negative, tenth minus 32 of a second. I don't know how fast that is. According to psychists, Like is Alan Groove's 18, 1980 theory that changed the way we think about the Big Bang forever. So the, the thing about the Big Bang is that they said, like like when God said, uh, it says that God created the universe, the heavens and the earth, boom, with a word, right? Boom. And then he said, let there be light. Those are seconds. We're talking about not even a full second it would have talked for, for him to say the word. And for it to happen. And science is literally proving that it happens <laughs> that fast. You know, that it happens so fast would have been like saying a word. Like, you know, let the heavens and earth be. Boom. Let the heavens and earth be created. Boom. Or create the heavens. Boom. That's the word. God said the word. Boom. It was done. It was just like that. Not even a full second, right? Not even a full second. I don't understand how to actually pronounce that word. Uh, don't get on me for my ignorance, for my Shagaga in Hebrew. Uh, ignorance is Shagaga. Don't get on me for my Shagaga, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, without further ado, we're going to listen to that one more time, and then we're going to hit these scriptures. 
No. Well, how do you know that it's like Christianity's God? There's only one God, but mm. there's a very famous astronomer named Robert Jastrow. His credentials as a scientist are impeccable. Being agnostic, he's not even a Christian. He said that all of the essential elements of the Big Bang Theory line up with biblical, biblical. creation. Because this is how God works. God speaks something, and then science runs to catch up with what he yep. said. Science mm. doesn't create anything. Science studies creation. Let me just answer a question that I always get. Who created God? What I say? I said everything with a beginning. Everything that came to be needs a cause. God didn't come to be. Nope. God is eternal. The way a lot of people thought the universe was until science disproved it. Yep. So God doesn't need a cause or a creator. He is the cause. The universe is the effect. Exactly. Don't just take my word for it. Go look into Go it look for yourself. Up. One more thing. Evidence is not a substitute for faith. Come on. Following God is not a matter of evidence or proof. It's a matter of the will. You have to want to do it. So you can have the peace that you're looking for. And if you don't want to make that choice, no amount of evidence is going to convince you to. You have to want to. Listen. Okay, so... Like she was saying, there's one thing I do disagree with. Her man does create things, but... It's not like they create things from nothingness. They use what God previously created to create things like man created uh, the ho modern houses we live in. But they use the materials that they dug up from the ground that God created in order to create them. All right. So let's get into these scriptures. So the first scripture we're going to get into is Isaiah 40 and 28. It says, has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. So this is what I wanted to get out of this. It says, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, long duration, antiquity, the beginning, the, the the Alpha and the Omega, the person who was there from the beginning. Nobody needed to create God, create God because he is everlasting. So nobody needed to create God, right? Let's get to the next thing. Because I've heard that from a person. I've heard a person say, well, a man, a man, it says that men were created in God's image and man ain't, can't be created without a woman. So how was God created? How does that make sense? A, a man can't be created without a woman and God. A man and woman can't be created without a woman, God, and man. It takes the man, the seed of a man, the eggs of a woman, and God to make a baby. So, no, God did not need a woman to birth him. For anybody who believes that madness, God did not need because it's just that people want to worship the God, the God they just worshiped on Easter, the goddess of fertility. And want to put her over God and say, well, well, all women, they, they say the oldest body ever found, which is millions of years old, come from a woman in Africa. It was a black woman that could have been put up as a farce, not saying that the black oldest body they ever found was a black body. I'm not disputing that. First off, I don't believe they know that something was millions of years old. They don't know. They ain't been here for millions of years to tell. When we grew up, they told us Pluto was a planet. Now, Pluto is a damn moon. So nothing them dudes be saying in that arena where they're guesstimating is 100% is 100% true. Take that with a grain of salt, right? So when they say, oh, well, it had to be a woman to create God. Like, no. God is not a woman. No woman created God. It was God by himself. He was the only light in the universe. There was nothing else. He put a mirror image of himself in the feminine out. And when he says he, we created them, it says uh, uh, he created them, man and woman, or we created them, man and woman. Why? We created them, man and woman. That's showing that God did the same thing he did to himself to Adam. He put a mirror image out of himself in the feminine. That was the Holy Spirit. The Bible says you need two or more to bear witness. That's why the first begotten is the one they call Christ or Yeshua Wamasiak is the first begotten because you needed two or more to bear witness. That would have been God and the Holy Spirit to bear witness of the first begotten, 
the first one on record, which would have been Christ. And from them, those three, this is what some Christians say, the Godhead, from those three, or, or I would rather just say the family, the, the heavenly family, from those three, created, they created the rest of the universe. So let's get into it. This is a... We are going into Isaiah. Oh, no, we're going into Psalms uh, 90, and we're going to start at 2, right? It says, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth. So before the earth was ever formed in the world, the world, uh, I'm going to have to actually look it up in the... Uh, in my other one to see what this world was but i know that most of the time when it's saying world sometimes it means everlasting so it could be saying that and sometimes when it's saying like an actual area is typically talking about the whole universe not just the planet right it says or ever has formed the earth see so it said before he formed the earth which would be what we consider our world is the earth and the world like i say and the fact that it added it on is most likely state in the universe but i don't have my proper bible dictionary that i don't feel like looking it up right now to be honest i could look it up right here on my phone matter of fact i will i might as well just look it up i might as well look it up i think i might have uh my bible dictionary out i already did so i just gotta find i just gotta find uh where i was at so we could look it up Therefore, we'll know for sure. I'm just not guesstimating. I'm not a fan of guesstimating. Here we go. Okay. The world. Here we go. The world. It says world. It says the earth as moist and therefore inhabited by extension of the globe. By implication, its inhabitants, specifically a particular land as Babylonia or Palestine, a habitable part of the world. So this one is actually speaking of the world. Right. So it's actually speaking of the world. And that's why it was important for me to go look that up. Right. Uh, the world, what we would consider the world. Right. So before he ever formed the earth in the world, sort of things inside of the earth is what it's saying. Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God, right? So God was before everything. He is going to be at the end of everything from everlasting to everlasting, right? Long duration, antiquity, futurity, right? Let's get this next uh, section, which is uh, Revelation. And we're going to start at 23 or 22, and we're going to go down to 13 all right and it says oh, we'll start at uh we'll start at 12 we'll just read 12 and 13 or right, we'll read 12 through 14 no 12 to 13 revelations 22 let's start at 12 and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work as according as his work shall be i am alpha and Omega, right? The beginning and the end. So before everything, it was God. The first, the first, proven. God wasn't born from no woman. The first and the last, right? So this is important to know this type of stuff because people will mix everything up to try to deter and and take down God to try to make God seem as if he's not everlasting. It's got to be a woman who created him. How could he just be existing if it wasn't something that made him, right? <laughs> That's what they try to say about God. So the next one is Deuteronomy 33 and 27. Oh, was that the last one? Oh, I didn't even go to Deuteronomy. Well, we're going to go to this one. It's Roman. What, what was? It? 
we gonna go to that scripture in Romans next, but I gotta get this Deuteronomy real quick, y'all. Mm. Let's see, Deuteronomy. Uh, we're gonna go to 33. And we're gonna go down to 27. And it says, The eternal God is thy refuge. The eternal. Of four time. He was before time existed. Before anything existed. The eternal God is thy refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Right? And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. And shall say, destroy thee. Destroy them. I'm sorry. I said thee. Destroy them. Right? So the eternal God is thy refuge. Like I said, we go to eternal it says before a four time. So the God before a time or anything existed, right? So now let's get to Romans 1 and let's start at 18. It says, For the wrath of God is revealed from the heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who hold the truth of unrighteousness, right? Because that. It says, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world, right? The invisible things of him. It's talking about of God, right? From the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power eternal once again everlasting power in godhead divinity divine nature that's the family so the god the holy spirit in christ right or yeshua wamasiak so that they so that they are without excuse right because that when they knew god they glorified him not as god neither were they thankful but become vain in their imaginations, like God needed to have somebody create him, right? And their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. That's a foolish idea. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image made like a corruptible man. Like God has to come from a woman. God is uncorruptible. <laughs> You're trying to make God like something corruptible like us into the birds and the four footed beasts in the creeping things. Right. And this is the last scripture, which is Proverbs 14. And we are going to 12. Right. Proverbs 14 and 12. It says there is a way. Which seemeth right unto men. But the end thereof are the ways of death. And that's where I wanted to end this with. Because the end are the ways of death. You might seem like, well, yeah, God, God had to come from a woman or else how could he exist? But let me tell you, those type of foolish thoughts that people have without doing the research and getting into the Bible to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> those foolish thoughts are going to end up getting people killed, man. It's going to end up being a death of people, right? So God is eternal. Nothing created God. God created everything. <laughs> That's how it works, right? There's no other way around it if you believe the word. A lot of the times when people come up with these theories that we talked about earlier, I think they just, right now with TikTok and with all of these different platforms, it's People could get on the internet and just say anything and people believe them. Matter of fact, watch out for the video I'm doing later later today because this is going to come out on Friday. Watch out for the video I do later today because I'm exposing somebody who did that, right? We going over that. So I wanted to throw this out there again. I will be doing live streams soon. I don't know if it'll be next week or the week after next, but I will probably at least start running on tests either next week or this week, so I can learn how to do it, learn how to get it organized. So we will be going live soon. I look forward to seeing y'all uh, on the live and talking to y'all in the chat and even getting some of y'all on the panel uh, to discuss some of the things we're going to talk about on our live streams. Uh, 
with that i want to say rather you like the video or you didn't hit that like button for me i would appreciate it uh kala higher by shimmy shaya all praises to the most high in the name of his son right so i would appreciate it uh what i want to uh i want you to write a comment let's talk about this what do y'all think as we know science has been attacking god forever so let me know what y'all think in the comments about this and if y'all haven't subscribed subscribe and let's keep the thing moving right <laughs> let's keep it going let's keep the train building so we could build something great because i i got a feeling that the videos will blow up once i get to the desert and show y'all the project that uh i've been planning out uh, god has put on my heart to plan out for a while uh, i think the videos will start blowing up so i would like the beginning people to uh to blow up right now before we fully get that done at least a little more than we are therefore when the land and everything is done i'll know who was down because all the first people i'm remembering y'all names like not by heart yet but i'm going through y'all comments and y'all comment so much i'm remembering y'all names so thank you into uh a 006 copeland uh, robert copeland i think is your name or 006 copeland I'm not for sure uh the water thank you thank you for the uh, cash app that was my first cash app donation y'all and uh, youtube being uh first off i wasn't making uh much i think like the first five six months i made like literally like 130 dollars for all of the five six months combined and now i'm averaging like 18 dollars a month so i'm not making much like you know off of the youtube video something's better than nothing but I did appreciate the brother, uh, uh, 006, uh, Copeland, 006 Copeland. I said Coleman, 006 Copeland or, or Rob Copeland. I did appreciate you sending me the, uh, Snapchat donation. I really did appreciate that. You were the first. I had to give you a shout out and give you love. So, uh, without further ado, I just want to say thank you or the water, which means thank you. Kala Haya by Shemeshaya, which is all praises in the name of the Father, uh, all praises to the Father, to the Father in the name of the Son Yeshaya. I want to say uh, Shalawan, which is peaceful greetings, because we're about to exit the platform. And I want to say Baraka, I bless you. Thank you for tuning in. And on that note, peace out. Into the next time, right? Peace out.